Hey everybody, welcome to this vlog. This is the first part of my Pirate Catwoman series, which I am super excited about. I mentioned that I wanted to do Pirate Catwoman in one of my previous videos and asked you guys to comment below to see if you were keen on the idea and I got an overwhelming response, so thank you so much. I really don't want to box myself into a corner with just doing Harley Quinn cosplays. I really want to explore more of the DC universe and the other female villains and also let my creativity flow with creativity creating a cosplay from scratch. The response I got for announcing Catwoman cosplay was amazing and I really want to thank you guys for being so open-minded and letting me get out of my Harley Quinn shell. As I mentioned in that previous video, I had this video game on the computer called Claw about this pirate cat. So it really stems to my childhood along with it being a couple cosplay with Chris. I found a fan art on Google which I will pop on the screen for you guys and I'm stemming a bit of inspiration from this amazing art along with this comic appearance of a pirate style Catwoman. That is a very cool inspiration as well. So they're the only two pictures that I'm stemming any inspiration off. I'm not going to be doing it exactly like either of those two. It is my idea but they are two inspiring posts if that makes sense. I've already ordered my wig which is going to be the length of my normal hair but it's black and super curly. With the wig I'm going to be doing a bit of a Jack Sparrow effect with like braiding parts of it and putting little trim trinkets and things in there. I've ordered the cow through one of Chris's friends from the UK. I've ordered the claws and the gloves which are coming from China cheap off eBay. But the only thing I have in the flesh at the moment are the boots which I ran into at the shopping mall yesterday and they were on sale for $20 which was crazy. So I'll show you guys that now. So here are my boots. As you can see it's a gorgeous black crush velvet with a small heel and they come up just above the knee and now I know that I'm going to be working black crush velvet into other aspects of the costume. This series is going to be very casual vlogging style. I don't want to make it too sit down professional. I just want you to enjoy the very natural process of this cosplay happening. So it's going to be super vloggy and casual and yeah. Hello everybody, I am here with this random man that walked into my house. We are going to Patty's Markets, it's going to be a great place to find like trinkets for Catwoman and things for Pirate Batman and also looking for a wig. I ordered one online from Cosplay Buzz but unfortunately... What? <laughs> You'll find out later. What? Nothing. What, what have you done? Nothing. I ordered a wig from Cosplay Buzz but unfortunately they said that they're out of stock and they don't like have that wig anymore which is frustrating. So we're gonna drive into the city and I guess we'll see you there. Bye! Excited? We're getting burgers. Ah! Alright ladies and gentlemen, Laura's about to take a bite out of her burger. How is it? Good? What did you get? Oh. Mushroom and beef. Look at that. We are walking from Broadway to Patty's Markets. We've just kind of hit Central Station, but we should be there soon. Are you okay? Yes. You nearly got run over. <laughs> that's, that's cool. We have a belly full of burgers to get us there for this extra cardio. We made it. Yay. Hello, human. Mm. Mm. Hello. Hey. Hey. Go straight for the sword. Oh, you would. <laughs> so cute. Belts, 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 belts. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is cool. So much stuff. Look who it is! That would so suit you! Absolutely, you'd look amazing in fishnet! Harley Quinn, nice to meet you! This is potentially a pirate Catwoman top, which is very cool, and I would dye it grey. That's perfect. It's good? Yeah. I think we found it. Perfect. Hello. So what was the outcome? We purchased a new pirate top. It is white. It's pretty nice and it's 100% cotton and what we're going to do is we are going to dye it grey. Mm -hmm. There were heaps of trinkets and things so I'm definitely going to go back there for accessories 
in future. So that's the plan, Stan. Lee, don't glitterize, just accessorize. What'd you get? Stan, <laughs> I got some gray dye for the top. And yeah. Oh, my God. Arr, it's pirate Laura. Look at that. What's up? All right, so, let's do a run through. Here is my $25 top that I got. It's a men's size small. It's the smallest size I had, but I like how loose it is kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we've got the, the tie up here. I literally just opened the package. I got one meter squared worth of crushed velvet. That's nice. And what I'm going to do is cut it thinner so I can wrap that around my waist and give me a bit of shape as well as tying in with my $20 boots. 20 bucks. They're meant to be worn above the knee, but as discussed with Chris and my dad, we are going to fold it down. It adds like a more pirate look and it breaks it up a bit. Great success. Great success. Yeah. So this is what I've got at the moment in person. Well done, babe. Yeah. Aw, thank you. I'm proud of you. Oh, it is Saturday today. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to dye my new Pirate Catwoman top. So here is the dye that I picked up from my local sewing store yesterday. It's called Rit Liquid Dye and it's in the grey that they had. So we're going to be using this dye and my brother Jack is going to be helping me dye the top. So I spent the night at my mum's last night. She has this box that we call the memory box which is full of a lot of sentimental things from my childhood and in that box were these two things. This tooth of some sorts that I had growing up and also this amulet that my dad got me when I was little. My dad's an electrician and when he used to go do jobs in different locations he would sometimes bring me little gifts or trinkets back. I thought these two things would be perfect for Catwoman and also it is my childhood so I'm kind of bringing that nostalgia with me. The amulet in particular is something I used to wear when I played that Captain Claw video game I told you guys about. The whole storyline of that video game is that you're searching for the amulet of nine lives and that's what we call this amulet. Hey Jack, what's up? Are we, are we gonna do it? Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm just talking about the amulet of nine lives. Okay, let's go dye this top. Okay, are you doing it here? I don't know, are we? No, we cannot. We have to do it out the front. And it needs to be hot water and we need a cup of salt in there. Jack and I watched a tutorial on YouTube from the brand of dye and they talked you through how to do it and they had all these measurements but we're just going to wing it. Put salt in there as well so they said put a cup in but we're not using as much water so we'll probably put in three quarters of a cup. This is serious. This is how you get your salt out. Don't do this at home children. Oh yeah. Ready? Are you ready for this? Yes. Don't be salty Jack. Our salt is in, I repeat, the salt is in, and we're going to take this outside. I really don't want to get this on my clothes. Are you sure? Oh, that's a lot darker than I expected. A tea towel to test the colour, but I have a feeling that's way dark. Oh, actually, I don't think that's dark enough. You know, maybe we should measure the amount of dye we're using. No, don't measure anything. Just do it by ear. I think we're just going to do this at first because you can always go darker. You can't yeah. go lighter. Okay, you ready? Maybe. Because the top is 100% cotton, it's going to be a lot easier to dye as compared to anything that's polyester. If you have anything that's over 35% polyester, you need to use like special heavy intense dyes. I'm aiming for something that's about the same darkness as the animated series Catwoman, which she has that gray cat suit with the black accessories. And that's why I'm doing a gray top because I want to pay homage to animated series Catwoman. I'm gonna move this. We have a white barbecue because it was on sale and no one wants a white barbecue, so. But we have a white barbecue. Enjoying the view. Hello, random people driving past. It looks purple. This is problem. I'm very confused as to why it is purple. Why? Okay, maybe I should um call Ellen and ask. <laughs> that would have been a good SOS idea. SOS Ellen. Oh, can you grab my phone? We'll FaceTime Ellen. I really hope she picks up because um we have a crisis on it. Oh, you're on my Facebook. Matey, 
How are you? Okay, do you want to see what's happening? Are you ready? It's gone purple. I don't know why. I just thought I'd call you and let you know. Just in case there's some reason why grey turns to purple. Is that normal? Or is that like... See, I'm only four minutes in. They said to stir it for 30, but I thought, panic, I'll FaceTime no, Ellen. Wash it out. Wash it out. So Jack was a doofus and kept filming and my camera ran out of battery. So we have transported onto my phone and we're going to be using my phone. Ellen said that I should stop dyeing it because I'm not happy with the color and then perhaps find a new gray dye so I can go over this. And she said, don't let it go darker because you can't come back from it. So we're just going to take the shirt out and go rinse it on the tap and see how it goes. And yeah. Now I need somewhere sunny to put this. We're running out of sun. Clothesline. Like most people, our clothesline is a ridiculous distance away from our house. In the light, it's Sounds looking right. less purple. Hey, it looks very piratey now. The white was too clean. This is, it's going gray. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to leave that vlog there. Thank you so much for your support for this series. I hope you enjoyed the first video. It is still very early days, so it's all happening slowly. Just trying to lay down the foundations and then it's going to get a bit more intricate and exciting. So yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Love you guys so much and bye. Good. Oh, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Mm. 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 Okay, what are we doing? Good day. Hello, Miss Hello, Miss And here we have the wild Laura trying to reverse. Okay. Bye. Envelope.